Hi, my name is Emily Crow from Crochet Creations. Welcome. I would love to share with you some of the things that I hope to make in 2022. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. On my channel, I like to talk about all things knit and crochet. I am the maker and designer behind Crochet Creations. You can find all my links down in the description if you're interested in shopping any of my finished items or patterns. If you have been here before, then welcome back. I'm so happy to have you. If you have been following me for a little while, I have a goal since January 2020 called Attack My Stash, where I have been trying to work through my yarn to decrease the amount of uh, stuff I have in my home. Instead of just decluttering and like kicking things out the door to be tossed into the garbage or a donation center, which is also kind of wasteful and not um, necessarily as eco-friendly as other options, I've decided to try to use up my yarn in intentional ways so that I can put it to good use and develop more minimal and intentional habits when it comes to my crafting. Like I said, I've been doing this since January 2020. I have monthly updates on my blog on how this goal is going and in January 2021, I revised my goal based on the things I had learned and where I saw my progress going. I can share that down below too if you're interested in learning more about those goals but today I wanted to talk a little bit more about what my attack my stash goal will be for 2022 and how it has evolved as I'm looking into the new year so one thing that I've had a hard time with recently is while I've been having pretty much equal input and output of my stash I've been getting some beautiful new yarns as you can see in this area. And I've been using up some yarn, but mostly I've been using up the newer yarn I've gotten in my stash. I just don't really know what to do with the old yarn I've had for a few years. I bought it before I really understood what fibers I enjoyed working with and what things I liked to make. And it was mostly things bought for working on like craft fair items before I really understood what kind of things sell and what kind of things I enjoy making for craft fairs. So it's a lot of yarn that doesn't quite fit the intention I originally bought it for. And so now I don't really have ideas for what to do with it. And like I said, I don't want to just throw it out because that's not very kind to the environment. And I don't want to just dump it into the donation center system because that is also not very kind for the environment. I want to find a good use for those yarns and use them up to their fullest extent. And so my main goal for 2022 for Attack My Stash is to find ways to use the yarn that I already have and to really research and figure out how to use those yarns so I can use up that old yarn that's been sitting in my closet for too long so I can make more space for the yarns that really do bring me joy and really inspire me to create new things. I've already come up with a make nine list for 2022 of all the fun new things I want to make and I'll make sure to link that in the description so you can find that video of all of my regular make nine and my honorable mentions because I couldn't limit my list to just nine but I also wanted to share the nine things on my stash make nine list of what nine items I would like to make with my stash yarn that I've had for more than a year. So I can try to use up that yarn, put it to good use, and hopefully it can give you some ideas of ways to use your stash yarn up. And if you have any ideas or any patterns that you love to use for your stash yarn, then definitely let me know down below. I would love to hear because this is not nearly all the yarn I would like to use up, but this is just a starting point of things that I already know I wanna make with the yarn I have that's just been waiting for the perfect project in order to use it up and put it to good use. Without further ado, here we go. We're going through my Stash Make 9 and I'll also mention a couple other yarns that I hope to figure out a plan for. I will have this space open for putting up pictures of the projects I would like to make, but I have most of the yarn in front of me so I will be able to show you the yarn I'm hoping to use for those projects. And um, if, if there is yarn to show right now, my baby is sleeping and the craft closet is in her room. So I will do my best to show you the yarn that I have and I will also do my best to show you the patterns I'm envisioning or what has inspired what I'm hoping to make with this yarn. And like I said, this is not nearly everything that I hope to do with my stash. The more of this older stash I can use up, then the more, uh, the less space my yarn will be taking up in my home and just sitting around in a closet not being used, but also the more space I can have for the yarns that do bring me joy and are things that I really want to work on right now rather than just 
things I bought years ago because I thought I might use it and I haven't. So the first pattern that I want to show you is the half and half triangle wrap by Pearl Soho. It is actually a free pattern that you can find. I'm thinking I might do this pattern a little different. I'm not quite sure if I have the yarn to make this size or not and since the yarn I'm thinking is worsted weight not DK, it changes things. But depending on how much time I have and how much I care, I may just cast it on and see what happens if I need to frog it or not. Or I may do some math and configuring and see if I should change the pattern up. But it is a free pattern on their website. I will link it below. And I plan to use these yarns. The lighting is not great, I'm sorry. But this is Hello Gorgeous Yarn by Red Heart. This is the color Sedona. It is beautiful. I love this. I bought a whole bunch of this yarn because I loved it so much and I used it for some pumpkins I made and sold because it's got a, it's a really beautiful fall palette that has some of the traditional reds and oranges but also like some blue dusty blues and like a little bit of purpley and so I thought it was a perfect fall palette. I clearly went overboard because I have like two and a half skeins of this that haven't been used. So I definitely didn't need that many for pumpkins. But I figured that this blue yarn, this is Karen One Pound, is a perfect match for there's some blue in a little bit of blue striped in there. It's a little hard to see because there's so many other colors, but it's a perfect match color wise for some of the blue in here. And so I thought it would be a fun. A uh, solid color to pair with this variegated. So I'll do one half of the half and half triangle wrap in this color, in this colorway, and then the other half in just this blue to try to use up a whole bunch of this. Because I use this as like the only color I could find in the whole yarn store <laughs> for finishing off a sweater. I need a contrast for like the ribbing on the sleeves and the hem because I ran out of yarn. And this is the only color I could find that would match. So I bought a whole bunch of it, <laughs> so it's barely been used. So that will be really good, trying to use up this, and at least all of this, I think, I'll be able to use up. So that is the first pattern. All right, so the second pattern I have on my Stash Make Nine list is the Brookline Blouse by Mezzo Makes, Kate Garden, and I love this design. It is knit. Oh, the last one is knit too, I didn't say, but it is a knit garment design, and it uses DK weight yarn, and I have some in my stash that I would love to use up. So this is Soft and Sleek DK in a whole host of colors, <laughs> in a lot of colors. I think I have like Cloud, Linen, Noir, Cedar, and like Oxblood. I don't know, like lots of colors. Basically, I could do a gradient. I'm thinking that like this would be the best gradient. And then I have like a little pop of red for the cuffs or something. And then I have this lighter color even I could probably use. I was thinking I was going to use this yarn for my daughter for a cardigan, but the pattern I picked out is just not great for kids. It's got lots of interesting texture, but that means there's lots of holes and gaps for her little fingers to go in. She's only a year old, and so she loves to put her fingers in things and like pull things apart. So not a great design for a toddler. Um, so I take it back. I'm not going to make that cardigan. Not great for her age, but I love the design. So I'll definitely make it when she's older and more responsible to her clothing, at least in like not fiddling with it too much. So it might be a while. I'm not sure. Anyway, so I have all this scrap yarn that I had planned to use for a different scrappy project in a fade and that didn't work out. So I was thinking this would be great for the Brookline blouse. I love Mezzo Makes patterns. I've really adored them from afar and I would really love to try them out. I also have her cottage core crop on my actual Make Nine list and I have some fresh yarn that I just recently bought uh, from a dyer that I'm hoping to use for that. But I don't want to buy all new yarn. I figured this would be a great way to use up this stash yarn, um, use up all these little skeins and make myself one of her patterns. So that is the plan, make the Brookline blouse. Probably I will do a fade from light to dark and then maybe on the edges I'll use some of the oxblood color. I don't really wanna buy this yarn, any more of this yarn. I'm trying not to buy yarn from Hobby Lobby. I like wanna use up the stash yarn so it can be out of my stash since I'm not planning on supplementing this yarn. Okay, so let's moving on. Number three for my stash make nine list, I would love to make, and I actually have the pattern printed out because I've been meaning to do this for a while, is the Jack and Jill socks. I think it's by Snowdrop Creates Design. So this is a crochet sock pattern. If you've been following me recently, I just learned how to knit. 
because I wanted to learn how to knit socks. And I got this pattern before I knew how to knit because I was intimidated by knitting, honestly. And I thought that maybe crochet socks would be better, but I started a gauge swatch with these with this sock pattern and I like petered out halfway through because finger and weight yarn takes a while <laughs> to knit a four by four swatch so it just didn't happen. I really do want to make these socks. The first first skein of sock yarn I ever purchased I still have and I haven't used it because I want to use it for this pattern. It's this beautiful color. It's called I think Kismet by Hole in the Wool. It's got some fun like little speckles of orange in there. But yeah, mostly a mint color because I love mint. It's such a pretty, pretty color and very, very light speckling. And so I want to use, it's already like skeined up into two 50 gram balls because like I really wanted to make these socks and I just haven't yet. So crochet socks are on my list for my stash make nine. Got to use this yarn up because I got this now like two and a half years ago. And I can't remember when I bought the pattern, but I need to make it. I need to make it already and I would love to design my own crochet socks and make sock making more accessible for crocheters since it definitely didn't feel accessible to me and um, just to stretch my design skills in that way. I have ideas flowing in my brain but I really need to make a few pairs of socks first before um, before I do that so that I can really understand it. So I'm going to make some Jack and Jill socks out of this beautiful hand dyed yarn that I'm so excited to make. The next one on my stash make nine list. So this is number four. I want to use the summer nights yarn by lion brand. And I bought this yarn like two years ago. I know they still have some of this yarn. I'm not sure if they have this colorway anymore. This is blue lagoon and I have two skeins of this. It's a fingering weight yarn, beautiful sparkle. I think I originally bought it to make like a Ruana or like summer cardigan type of thing, but I would love to make uh, a crocheted skirt out of this. And so I had started, I have a swatch done, I need to figure out my math and you know, I need to figure it out, like actually design it because <laughs> I have an idea started but not um, pulled into fruition. So I have two skeins of this and I would love to make this into my own design of a skirt. So keep an eye out for that. Hopefully that pattern will come out sometime in 2022. Another one of my own designs that I would like to come up with in 2022 for my Stash Make Nine list. I want to use these colors. So this is LaRue Cotton. It's her Pima DK yarn in Sunny Days and Georgia Peach. I bought these yarns for my daughter and I made her Just Peachy Pinafore in these colors and I actually have a good size left over not like a ton but I definitely have a good chunk I was thinking about making a crop top so the just peachy crop top again using the sunny days as the contrast color using this as the main color I'm not exactly sure I may not have enough yarn it might end up being more of like a bralette I don't really know but that is a design I hope to come out with to use up this yarn and I know I broke my rules this yarn I bought this year in 2021, so it's not more than a year old, but I'm the boss, so I make my own rules, and this is the only exception. <laughs> I really want to use up this yarn, and I really want to make this design, so it's happening, and it's part of my stash make nine because this is leftover yarn that I don't know what to do with, that like it's already fulfilled its purpose for the first design and it would be awesome to get another design out of it. The next project I plan to make from my stash, I hope to use Karen X Pantone for a love note by Tin Can Knits, another knit pattern because I'm all about knitting right now. It's so fun to know a new skill and be able to expand and grow that skill and so that's why most of what I'm making is knitting because it's just so fun to explore. This is some leftover fall colored yarn. I think the color is called Cranberry Meadow, but I do have two or three other colorways of Karen X Pantone that I need to use up. So I'm not sure if I'll have enough for this. If I do, this will be for Georgia for a love note for her, like a fall themed love note and do like a little fade or like a stripey thing. And if not, I have uh, some skeins of other yarn that I would use different colorways, but also Karen X Pantone. So that is the thought. These surprisingly don't have a lot of yarn, 
I remember feeling like when I first was using them that they took longer than I thought to work up, but like now that's not true. <laughs> like I'll use up these super fast, so I really don't know how far these will go. We shall see, but I want to use them up for like a fall something. Ooh, maybe like a fall cowl for Georgia because she's still little. Or hat. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. I don't know. This this uh, Make Nine list is ever evolving. If you want to learn more about what I actually end up doing, then definitely follow me on Instagram. You can also follow me at my blog, crochetcreations.com, where I will talk about the different things that I make and share about this Make Nine list as a whole, as well as the different parts. My Instagram will definitely show my progress as well as finished objects that I make. I do have a Ravelry that I don't use as much, but I will try to post some projects up there if you are interested. So definitely check out the links down below if you are interested and follow me so that you can be up to date on what I actually make. Like, will this become a love note for Georgia or not? Who knows? Another pair of socks that I want to make. This is also some yarn I bought for my very first trip to my local yarn store all the way back when I lived in Utah right before I graduated from college. This is some baby alpaca yarn. Let me read the tag. Cascade Yarns Alpaca Lace. Color 1433. So yeah. But anyway, so this is this beautiful like lilac color. It is super soft super soft. Love alpaca. It is 100% alpaca, so we'll see what happens. But I remember I bought this because I wanted to knit socks for a very long time. And the shop owner told me when I was like, oh, this yarn is so soft, so pretty. I love this color. They were like, guess what? That would be great for a pair of socks. So I bought two skates so I can make a pair of socks. Lace weight socks. Why? I don't know. Um, so help me if you know any lace weight sock patterns because I feel like holding a double it would not go very far I don't know I mean I'm okay with making shorties but I just like don't even know but that was what I originally bought it for I hope I can find a lace weight sock pattern to use so that I can have the coziest cute little purple socks so we are on the final stretch now. The next thing I want to show you, I think this is number eight on my stash make nine list. I want to make the Captiva crop by Murphy Handmade. And that this pattern took the crochet world by a storm last year. So cute and I wanted to make it, but this pattern is actually an honorable mention on my regular make nine list. So I thought it was perfect for my stash make nine since I have some yarn I would love to use it on. This pattern was really popular last year. Super fun textural detail, very fun for the summer. I'm not sure if I'm gonna modify it. Laura has a version that is long sleeve that I really like, but also I saw a version that someone made that didn't include as much of the lace holiness, and so she didn't have to wear anything underneath, which I'm a fan of not having to layer. Maybe we'll do that, but I'm not sure. Anyway, my first trip to the local yarn store. Can you see a trend? <laughs> I bought this yarn, and I don't even have the tag anymore. I don't know where the tag went. But this is Greenwood Fibers Spice Market. Of course, I still remember. It's beautiful brown, like browns and mauves and like even like a little bit brighter of a pink together. So pretty. Anyway, I have two skeins of this, which is perfect for my size for the Captiva crop. So I'm hoping to make this and have a cute crochet top because it's been a while since I've crocheted a garment that I really, really enjoyed. Well. I guess not that long. I made uh, my Halloween sweater, but before that, oh wait, my mind is just on knitting. <laughs> I was like, before that, it's been a while, but no, like I did the Royal Bomber jacket, and so it has not actually been that long. <laughs> but it feels like it's been a while since I've been all about knitting, and so I'm looking forward to having a crochet project that I really am looking forward to. So that's what I hope to make with this beautiful yarn. And then, last but not least, the last project on my Stash Make Nine list, I am hoping to make the Cumulus Blouse, kind of, by, I think, Petite Knit. So, I have this yarn, it's called the Feza Angel Yarn, whoops, got this bad crease, it makes it hard to read, Feza Angel, and I have these two colors, I have this blue and this white, I have three skeins of each, so not a ton, it's a lace yarn, 
and I thought it would be enough to make something, but I bought this way back when I didn't understand. I didn't understand about, first of all, making a lace weight top. Who has that time? That would take for freaking ever, but also like how much yarn it would use. I didn't have a pattern in mine or anything. I just bought some yarn. It was on sale. It was at like Tuesday morning, I think. <laughs> I was surprised to find yarn and so I snagged it up and I regret it ever since. But <laughs> I hope to use this up. I used some Fezza yarn for my Seriously Soft sweater that was my Halloween sweater project that I made. I would love to make the cumulus top. I think I'm going to hold this double and do like a white and blue marling and just see how much I can make. <laughs> so it'll probably be a short sleeve top. Hopefully it won't be too cropped, but it might also be a very cropped top. <laughs> um, but that's what I hope to make with this. I think that I'll be able to use up every last inch of this yarn um, to make a cumulus blouse and it would just be a really fun and airy summer top and I think these colors are perfect for the summer too. All right, that is my stash make nine list right now. And I'm sure just like with my original make nine list for 2020 that things will totally change and evolve. Um, and that's part of the fun of a make nine. Like I make a goal right now for what I want to make and it'll be really cool to see maybe halfway through the year, maybe at the end of the year, how my goals have changed, how my perspectives have changed, um, how my tastes have changed and to see what I actually do accomplish and what I change and also what I completely throw out the door and want to do different. I would love to get nine good stash projects done this year and they totally may change from what's on my plan right now. I do have a few other yarns that I would love to use up. I have uh, some Bernat Baby Velvet yarn in the color Orchid Hush that I was hoping to make a velvety top with for crochet, but I was I was hating the process. And if I was hating the process as the designer, then like no one is gonna enjoy making it. And so I decided that best to frog it, do something different. I have an idea for a knit top with that yarn. Mmm, I may design my first knit pattern. Who knows? And so that may come this year. I've got a lot of Bernat Homemaker Deck yarn that I have stockpiled because it was discontinued and I just haven't used it yet. But I really just need to get it, get it to good use. It is great for home decor projects for like coasters, cozies, things like that. And so I think I'm going to use up a lot of that yarn for market makes since I've been doing a farmer's market recently and that yarn will go quite a long way especially for little projects like cozies and stuff but I hope to use up some of that yarn. I also have a whole bunch of the Huga Charm yarn that um, I would love to use up. I think it's by Red Heart and I have every color that they offered because I got really excited when it was on clearance. I thought I would make stuff for markets and I haven't but I think that yarn would be a really really good to use up but since I have every color I don't really know what kind of project I would make maybe like a granny square type project um, to mix the colors it might be cool I'm not quite sure but those are just a couple of the yarns that I'm hoping to use up um, I have plenty more and so you might hear some updates for other stash yarns I'm hoping to use so definitely subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified every time I post a video so that you can be up to date on how my stash make nine list goes because I will definitely be reviewing that goal part way through the year and then again at the end of 2022 and like I said before follow me along on Instagram or at my blog at crochetcreations.com or Instagram my handle is crochet creations and then you can also get more like up-to-date real-time information on what I am making whether it's part of the stash make nine or other goals like my make nine list and whatnot and I would love to share with you everything that I am working on and I'd love to hear what you're working on too so definitely let me know in the comments down below if you have made any of these patterns or have any of these yarns that you are hoping to use up too or other yarns that are just hanging in your stash and lingering that you really want to use up let me know if you are joining in the hashtag attack my stash 2022 I'm trying to use up your stash yarns for specific projects I would love to hear and just definitely share with me and you can share with me on Instagram too I would love any kind of DMs or you could email me I suppose if that is uh, what you like to do but yeah I would just love to build my community and get to know more people who are working through their yarn stash I'm trying to make room for the things that really do inspire them and motivate them to create and 
it is a good exercise to work through trying to use up this yarn that I just don't know what to do with right now. Again, thank you so much for being here. I'm really happy to have you and I hope to see you again for a future video. Happy making. Bye.